Hello there and welcome to World of Tanks with Ungainy Titan. We're here on the step map in the Sandstorm variant. And this is the fourth battle before I actually made the uh, necessary points for the Boilermaker. As I've said in the Boilermaker video, um, I was playing the Death Star when things weren't working out on the chariot here and it was very helpful actually in gaining the uh, Boilermaker. That said, uh, today, Wednesday, that I'm making the actual this video, um, it's been a bit of a disaster for me in World of Tanks. I've been playing really badly all day, I don't really know why. But this is uh, the best game I've had in the Dead Star so far. It is my first uh, first class mastery game in the Dead Star. Now initially, um, something kind of odd happens in this particular game uh, that I haven't actually seen happen before on uh, the step map. The team essentially divides in two. Um, one chunk of the team goes right up the long uh, valley on the uh, eastern side of the map. One chunk of the team goes left um, along the broken valleys along the um, western side of the map. Some of them go over the top along the um, open ground, the flat open ground, but they head towards the broken ground on the western side of the map. I suspect they've got away with it uh, across the open ground because um, the step variant has actually even really restricted visibility. Uh, anything beyond 300 meters is pretty much invisible. You can still shoot stuff beyond 300 meters if somebody's spotting it for you, but the uh, spotter uh, is working really on restricted uh, view range. So I'm one of the leading tanks on this side of the map and I run into a fair chunk of the enemy team. Now when I was playing I thought I had fewer tanks behind me than I actually have. Um, one of our tanks. This which probably explained why I survived so long without uh, a lot of very heavy tank support on this side of the, um, the map. Because there was um, a number of tank destroyers on this side with me and um, most of them were behind me and I didn't, like I said, I didn't really realize it. It took me a few goes watching the video. The other interesting thing about this map is because the way our team deploys, the um, five tanks or so that go out the eastern valley have dropped out of radio coverage. And I think, uh, I'm not sure, but it seems to me that no enemy tank must have gone that way. Uh, I've taken out a T-10 um, there. Or at least, a lar yeah, a large chunk of one, yeah. No, no, ammo rack. The first shot was an ammo rack. So I've taken out a T10, um, but the tanks that go up the eastern side and our side, uh, basically, I think, uh, are unopposed until they pop up on the northeastern corner. So if we lose this side of the valley, um, the enemy team will swing straight into our base and win the game. So I knew it was important that we had to hold this position, but I wasn't really aware of how many tanks had gone uh, east, nor was I completely aware at the time that um, how many other tanks was in support on this side of the map. I did notice all right that tanks had got ahead of me up into the position into the middle of the enemy units. Um, having driven over the top and managed to do so. Um, so we get rid of that E100. For our second kill, okay, that wasn't much in the line of uh, hit point damage. That E100 was badly damaged and on fire. But uh, basically, in this version of the game, really as fast as I could load, I was getting a decent target. Now, a uh, light tank has managed to slip down the middle. Um, the fact that it's unguarded and engaging the tank destroyer behind me. I, again, wasn't really aware of that when I was playing. I was trying to get a shot on this um, M103, which I manage. I have to pull back and reload. Um, I suspect my teammates, I find the new feature that it gives you the time on the reload when you um, click the signaling is actually quite useful to your teammates. So now I can push forward, I'm searching for a new target, I'm getting um, 
So far from up ahead, but I've got the corner of the uh, frontal armor of a Panzer uh, Waffenzweger off Panzer Fuhr, and uh, managed to wipe him out. Now I'm taking fire from the rear, and I can't see the target, so uh, he's doing substantial amounts of damage. So on the basis that I'm going to get one more shot, uh, I decided to come over the top. The idea was that if I could take out the tank over the top, maybe I could drive down the other side. Now I take over the tank, but I um, can't really avoid crashing into the M103. I'm not going to beat his reload, and uh, he's going to have no trouble penetrating the turret. So that's me out of the game. However, um, the enemy position now is become rather precarious even though they have roughly the same numbers. The guys that went up the eastern side are closing in on the um, couple of enemy tanks that went back to meet them had popped up some time ago and the last remaining tank, the ST1 that was with me, isn't dead yet. Um, although he's just been taken out now as you can see when uh, the tanks that were down in my location have just dropped off the map. But the guys that have come up the eastern side are basically in full health. They've attacked the tanks that were weak and they've just taken them out. So I'm going to speed up the remainder of the video. It's just a question of the flanking force that came up the uh, eastern side of the map. And I've now caught up with the force that came, the enemy force that came down on the western side are just basically fighting a kind of pursuit action as they catch up with them and wipe them out one by one. Since the um, enemy units are basically scattered out over a chunk of the map rather than um, forming any kind of coherent um, defense or uh, coherent action. So it's pretty much all over, they've wiped out the tanks in pretty short order and um, we're the game won. Mission accomplished. So victory! Um, 7000 damage Four destroyed and high caliber, first class mastery. Best result so far I have gotten in a um, the FE two one five B one eight three Death Star. Came top by experience, and overall I'm quite happy with the result. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider giving the channel a subscription, and please consider giving the video a like.